What's up, what's up, what's up, it's your boy DMO Don Butobi back with another video. Today we're watching Unreal Gaming and we're watching the actual Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 102 Beast Gohan vs. Ultra Instinct Goku Father Son Rematch. Rematch. And uh, yeah. I know everybody been waiting on this one. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Uh, I, look, I ain't gonna lie. I was watching the other videos he posted about like the leaks. I seen the leaks of it on my own time. So I already know what's about to, kind of, what's about to happen. But. It's not gonna spoil it for me. I don't give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get into it. Let's go, nigga. As chapter we kick 102. Off Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 102, following the initial events of Goku being shown returning back onto Earth, as with Goku now visibly happy and having to be shown addressing Trunks, Goten, and Gohan, was when Goku then went on to respond. And I gotta say, Gohan, that burst of ki from you a minute ago just now, just wow. Uh huh? Oh, right, Gohan responds, with Goku continuing, well, no, not here, need a better spot. Hey, I know, come with me to Lord Beerus' planet, Gohan. Gohan, you Looks can like show me there. Uh, uh, show you, uh, show you what exactly? Your new form, of course. I want to see how. I ain't gonna lie. Goku ain't beat the dead beat allegations. I ain't gonna lie. Look, Goku is actually a good father, but nigga, this nigga pulled up. It's kind of like imagine if LeBron dad pulled up when he made it to the NBA. Man, son, when you didn't tell me you had this, all this. <laughs> nigga pulled up on Gohan. Man, let me let's fight. <laughs> he ain't beating it. He's not it beating it. Gohan responding, uh, in this outfit though? Well, fine. Uh, hurry up and get changed then. I can wait, Goku responds. Uh, the ch sure. Well, in the meantime, how's it going, you two? What are you guys up to out here? With Goten and Trunks responding, nigga. uh, well, you know, just uh, hanging out with I know my he, 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 he ain't meeting right? up with Goten. Yeah, that nigga yeah, probably don't know Trunks shit about Goten. Responds. Hey, I For know. Show. Why don't you guys tag along with us, Goku continues. We gotta get out of here, Carmine responds. Hey, pedal to the metal now! We need to make ourselves scarce. So, uh, aye aye, sir, says 15. Well, what do you think, Goten Trunks questions? Well, it could be fun. To which, as soon as Goten and Trunks were from there, shoving back in the car with Goku leaning on it towards the piccolo. window, was when Goku then went on to respond, Hey, you might want to wear a seatbelt because I can transport everyone at once, okay? All right, well, sorry about that just now, but I'm ready, Dad, with Goku responding, Great, and so now you get in too, Gohan. To which, as soon as Goku was there, then shown placing his hand on the car and having to take the entire car onto Beerus's planet, Goku was only then shown having to enact upon this just in the middle of Whis being shown having to demonstrate yoga to Shilai, Lemo, and Broly. By no means was Broly, Shilai, Lemo, Whis, Beerus, or Vegeta expecting for Goku to go on ahead and bring guests as Goku then went on to continue, hey, look who I brought. Oh, wow, so this is Lord Beerus's planet, huh? Goten utters with Vegeta responding, Trunks. That's the first time Gohan, Goten, Trunks will be on here. That's crazy. It was a G -G -G Goku's idea, Dad. Oh, where are we, Sir? 15 questions. Oh, nowhere familiar, Carmine responds. And so that much I can tell Bruh, you. Bring the anime back. Gohan by then responding. Hey, so I hear that you were the star of the show, Gohan, with Gohan responding, uh, yeah? Oh, yeah, right. The Red Ribbon Army thing, sure. Well, you want to show me? We might as well spar a little, right? With Gohan responding, a spar with you, Dad? Oh, come on. What's the big deal? It's been forever anyways right well true enough gohan responds well in that case then fine let's do it i'm game on if you are with beerus then having to shout oh the nerve storming onto my planet just to have some fun who do you think you are with Whis having to respond oh what's the harm lord beerus it could be a delightful spectacle you know hey so tell me what's this new form of yours goku questions is it like super saiyan 2 or maybe like super saiyan 3 with gohan responding Nope, it's called Beast. Beast? Well, that's a new one, Goku responds, with Gohan continuing. Yeah, well, Piccolo named it for me, actually. Nito, right? With Goku responding, and wait, so like you can beast. just shift into this beast mode whenever? With Gohan responding, uh, yeah, actually. You've always told me that I needed to be ready to fight at a moment's notice, and I finally got the message, Dad. And though it was Piccolo who actually went and taught me the trick to get better control, too. Wait, he did? Well, he is, like, your old teacher after all with Gohan yeah. responding well speaking of Piccolo actually he's got a really awesome new form of his own too whoa you don't say well I'll have to go and spar with him next time then man everyone's just been making progress huh with I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna lie low-key 
Low key, I'm excited to see him fight Goku. Low key, I feel like this form while fighting Vegeta would have been perfect. I feel like, I feel like, yes, fighting Ultra Instinct is amazing. But nigga, he would have fought. I feel like fighting Ultra Ego. Maybe they got it coming up. I don't know. And we'll see. But ain't gonna lie. Ultra Ego versus a Beast Form Gohan sound way like a way better. It seemed way better. Let me know what y'all think about that. With Vegeta chiming in, ahem, Trunks, did you prove useful as well? Uh, Hell no. Yeah, duh, I played a huge part, right, Goten? Right, Goten? Uh, sure, Goten responds. And I wish you could have seen it too, Dad. Just, you know, all of our sick combo moves and stuff. Well, combo moves, Gohan utters, with Goten responding, well, yeah, since we're a team, and when we combine our power, no opponent stands a chance, with Vegeta having to then think for a second by that Responding, interesting. Hey, Kakarot, why not go and pick Gohan against these whelps first? Uh, whelps? Trunks Rutters? Oh, really? Well, okay, sure, I guess. Well, at least this way I get a peek at Gohan's power before our actual fight, right? With Goten then responding, we gotta fight my brother? Oh, yeah, this is perfect, Goten. Let's go and give it a shot, Trunks responds. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we got a chance at taking him down as a team, you know? Well, don't you? You too sound confident. Oh, he cooking. He cooking. He yeah, cooking. Well, I guess so. Trunks utters. Wait a minute. Who are they? Broly questions. With Beast responding. Well, well, those three would be Goku and Vegeta's offsprings, meaning that Saiyan blood flows through their veins as well. To which, as soon as Goku and Vegeta were hesitantly being shown watching, both Carmine and oh, yeah, met. You haven't met. Bro, you haven't met the, the, the family same, yet. Fifteen months then chime in. Oh, something's about to go down, sir. I know. And just keep out of sight for now, and don't attract any attention attention okay yeah well carmine sir your hair is pretty hard to hide you know i'll just curse this carmine went on to then shuffle hey mr trunks then went on to suddenly shout get that camera ready <sighs> okay uh, hey, you, you, you bet 15 utters with goku then having to shout and begin to which as the boys were then shown putting on their helmets in from that point then shown dashing right towards gohan it was almost immediately upon goten and trunks being shown making their way towards gohan was when gohan decided from that point to then only use Super Saiyan and nothing more, which really made you stop and wonder as to what Gohan was planning as the boys were making their way towards him, to which as soon as Gohan was shown having to prepare while keeping the Super a smile Saiyan. on his face and blocking off Trunks' initial attack, Goten from out of nowhere now behind Gohan thought that it would be a good idea to catch Gohan off guard, but instead, little did Goten know that he was dealing with his older brother Gohan, and Gohan yeah, by no means with was a, going to be putting up with any not dealing with your average Saiyan warrior Gohan anymore. Gohan was immediately shown having to block off Goten's kick before the two were then shown breaking off and having to synchronize their attacks yet again but once again little did the boys know that they're not dealing with any sort of ordinary criminal or let alone any sort of ordinary person but instead they attempted to go on ahead and cycle on their way down in doing what they assumed would be best in having to bring gohan down and beating him in battle but instead it was yeah, only know, just what they got gohan going on. on to leap out of the way and having to make complete it's crazy they don't got super saiyan 2 yet both of them at the exact same time was when goten and Trent how easy they got super the saiyan of their ways as they should be had super saiyan 2 by now Right, which had right. only from that point left the others completely embarrassed and having to see what their sons were doing during this entire engagement because even despite with the others now having to acknowledge this was when Goku then went on to chime in now oh, well those boys tend to always make a lot of unnecessary movements as an annoyed Gohan then went on to respond hey what's wrong with you guys don't cover your heads it only makes it harder for you guys to see your opponent's movements with Trunks and Goten responding oh damn but it makes the costume look really cool no, just forget it, Goten responds, and let's just fight him normally with Gohan responding. Okay. Good, that's better. To which moments later, as soon as Goten and Trunks were from that point then shown transforming into Super Saiyans, this was the first time, mind you, that Broly had ever seen Goten, Trunks, and Gohan simultaneously transform into Super Saiyans. First time we've seen them, period. Respond, what? Can everyone just turn Super Saiyan at will? With Whis responding. It's well, crazy, yes, Broly in the, Broly in the, the actual with story. Most of the Saiyans on Earth, with Broly uttering. Uh, I see. In which this was now beginning to look a little different because despite the fact of both Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Goten having to double team Gohan at the exact same time, it would only now seem as though whenever Goten and Trunks decide to take anything seriously is when they tend to work better with each other than having to go 
about by utilizing their superhero personas and having to stop crime because the very moment Goten was shown knocking Gohan away with Trunks trying to follow up by blasting Gohan with a few energy blasts, it had only now become clear as day that the boys do in fact tend to work better together when indeed they actually are serious about combat rather than having to portray their Saiyan Man X1 and Saiyan Man X2 personas. Oh, wait, they... Because even despite oh, with Gohan know. being shown avoiding Trunks' energy blast while at the same time avoiding his brother's strikes, what Gohan inevitably tried to do was bait both Goten and Trunks in having to follow him straight towards Beerus' gigantic treat, which even as he did, Goten and Trunks did not let up by still continuously being shown attacking Gohan despite nearly crashing right into they gonna, Beerus' hold on, tree. Which hold on, they gonna, they gonna have it. Alright, this shit enough for Gohan, Goten and Trunks to train on Beerus' planet? Or at least Gohan, at least, god damn, I wanna see that. That shit gonna be fire. Gohan training with Broly would be... Yeah. Thankfully yeah. enough, the moment Gohan flew upwards with the boys then having to follow him, Gohan had then quickly acted oh, on yeah, I get to Piccolo use the here environment too, man. around him to his advantage in swinging on over by using one of the branches and knocking Trunks away, to where even with Goten once again attempting to come up from behind Gohan with Gohan being shown punching Goten down, Gohan did not seem as though he was having any sort of issue by handling these two by himself, to which even despite him being shown letting off a few energy blasts with the two energy blasts being shown going right through their bodies, what Gohan was not expecting to happen was Gohan was not expecting for the two to use the after image technique and from there being shown having to come up from behind Gohan yet again to which instinctively enough with Gohan barely being shown having to move out of the way with Goten and Trunks being shown crashing back down it only had now looked as though Gohan was genuinely proud by seeing the boys I'd be happy if Gohan not irrelevant again effort, man as Gohan then went on to respond he's relevant oh, wow, well done you two I can see that you've been training super. and I always thought you guys were just playing about around to cry. you know well heroes have to be strong you know Goten responds with Trunks mm -hmm. being shown dashing towards Go on by then uttering, yeah, and that's cause to which even with Trunks being shown engaging back and forth and even going as far as to grab onto Gohan's punches and having to keep them locked in place, was when it now had only looked as though Trunks was comfortable enough in his Super Saiyan form to go as far as to handle Super Saiyan Gohan by himself, as even while locked in a stalemate with Gohan was when Trunks then went on to finish, well it's like I said, and that's cause there are people that I want to protect, with Gohan responding, oh, is that so? As immediately there before you know it, with Gohan then shown having to throw Trunks on down with Goten yet again for the third time trying to sneak up behind Gohan. Gohan was shown having to yet again move out of the way by grabbing onto Goten's leg and from there shown having to throw Goten right back down where Trunks was, which was also another indication that even despite with these two having a very small slight advantage by having the numbers game over Gohan, Gohan still as a Super Saiyan was strong enough to handle them by themselves as Gohan then went on to respond, well in that case count me in two as with Gohan then shown transforming into his ultimate form that was when Goten went on to then utter hey transforming into ultimate is cheating uh, <laughs> your what? ultimate mode what's don't what's ultimate Gohan went on to question nigga, paraphrasing the chapter nigga wait seriously it's the name of that transformation Gohan we didn't know what to call it for a long time and so well we came up with one ourselves wink wink um I don't really get it with Goten then questioning all the why isn't it cool hey Goten if that's the case then let's power up two by using fusion and i'm talking about fusion fusion with gohan questioning fusion well didn't you guys fail that before yeah but well we practiced after that and so we won't fail now hey old man make sure you're recording okay trunks utters with soldier number 15 responding uh, d d y yes sir all right you ready fusion with goku then having to utter oh look look they seem to still remember Vegeta but not quite because it was only Hell seconds no. later through the blinding light that was beginning to shine on through to everyone's disappointment and utter shock instead of going as far as to get the perfected variation of the young adult version of Gotenks we instead now revert back to fat Gotenks instead as the run on gag for the boys and having to either misremember or continuously mess up the fusion seems to be a common trope with them as even with Gotenks yeah. themselves having to acknowledge that yeah they're fat again that was when Goku went on to chime in oh Oh man, they failed. Oh, you still couldn't do it right, Gohan utters, with Gotenks having to then yell, Oh, damn it! Well, I've got no other choice than to go in with this. Hiya! But just as you expected for this battle to go, this was by no means going to favor Let's Gotenks stay fucked whatsoever. That up. I'm tired of it. They need to stop doing that. One literal strike, we get it, but one like, damn, nigga. Can they do the fusion? Face, what Gohan inevitably ends up doing is one-shotting Gotenks across the field and having 
having to land near Beerus's tree, which once again also went as far as to kind of give us the notion that Ultimate Gohan is stronger than a misrepresented fusion, at least thus far. Because for Gotenks now, that was all she wrote with Goku then having to respond, Whew, man. Well, that settles it, I guess, with Gotenks uttering, I damn, I lost. Oh, what a waste, Vegeta utters. Well, all right, Goku says, my turn's next. All right, Dad, thank you so much, with Broly having to look on surprised by them responding. And so now it's Goku, with Gotenks quickly running towards the Red Ribbon car by then having to shout, Hey, hey, can you please delete that footage where I just lost the battle? Just delete it. Just delete it all. To which, respectively enough, just before their initial okay. engagement with both Goku and That's Gohan funny. now shown having to bow towards one another and giving the other respect, by no means was Goku looking to waste a single second in this battle. And they say, hey, hey, go to straight to your ultimate form. Power, yeah. To which, as soon as Goku was shown having to go from his base level and jumping I'm straight into Mastered Ultra Instinct was when Gotenks went on to then chime in. Whoa, that must be Ultra Instinct with Goku responding. Uh, you probably never seen it. Go. And so now let's not waste any more time and jump into our final forms, Gohan, with Gohan responding. Right, Dad, understood. With Beerus having to then chime in. Whis, Goku's current Ultra Instinct is his strongest technique, right? Why, yes, it seems like it, Whis responds. To which as soon as Gohan then was shown having to close his eyes and almost looking calm, cool, and collected similar to that of his father, we then begin to see a very intense gust of wind begin to circle Gohan's body as Gohan from there was beginning to channel all of the energy within him in going as far as to relax himself just before the point of having to unleash this festering storm that had been brewing within him as before yes, you know, sir. the moment Gohan suddenly went on to yes, his eyes, similar to that of how he did against Perfect Cell in Dragon Ball Z and Cell Max in Dragon Ball Super, Gohan from there immediately erupts in an explosive fit of rage and channeling everything he has from within him now onto the surface, and from there giving way and finally introducing his beast form before a large audience to see for the very this first is time, beast, form. beast Gohan now standing ready for battle against Mastered Ultra Instant Goku and also having to leave Goku completely baffled, as even with both Goku and Vegeta taken back by the sudden storm of energy that was beginning to slam right into them was when Vegeta then went on to respond, th this is, whoa, now that's one hell of a key storm, Gohan, incredible, Goku responds, look, he, he's back to that same look that he had before, Carmine responds, well now, didn't I tell you that you might see something interesting, Whis went on to then question Beerus, with Gohan then responding, alright dad, now let's begin, with Goku responding, yeah, I've been looking forward to this, yes and sir, now, let's do and it, and they Vegeta so happy, with both Gohan and Goku now being shown getting into fighting position, with Vegeta having to look on with a grin on his face, that was when both Goku and Gohan were from that point then shown dashing right towards each other and not wasting a single second during this moment because this very matchup in and of itself was going to be a deciding factor in having to determine on which one of the two between Gohan yes, and Goku was going to be the strongest yes, sir. in which moments before having to yes, clash with Gohan and Goku being shown having to vanish and demonstrating tremendous amounts of speed in the sky it was only just upon their initial engagement with the two going back and forth with such intensity that it only prompted everybody to look up in absolute awe one could only go as far as to imagine the level of speed in which these two are actually fighting in currently because it was only just upon their battle now beginning to take place as the entirety of Beerus's planet was now beginning to tremble and essentially have massive parts of the planet be destroyed under the tremendous pressure and shockwaves that were now beginning to emanate from this very battle. The ongoing spectators that were watching this such as Sheila and Lemo were lucky enough to have Broly by their side and having to protect them from flying off the planet including both Soldier Number 15 and Carmine who were coincidentally enough saved by none other than Fat Go tanks as it was only just when Carmine was beginning to thank Ooh. Gotenks as Broly kept on looking up towards the sky was where you can see it upon Broly's face that he was mesmerized by this very battle to which as soon as Beast Gohan was showing Ooh, against clean. Ultra Instinct Goku neither of the two yeah. warriors looked as though they were going to falter from this position because neither of the two warriors had looked as though they were worried, concerned, or fearful of the other in this battle but instead it only had now looked as though they were fighting on par and rather equally instead of just simply having one completely overpowered the other which from that point once again had only transitioned in Goku and Gohan moving at such rapid speeds to which once again had only went as far as to create another shockwave of storms that even went as far as to have Whis create a barrier around the spectators watching to where even with Beerus having to 
observe this as he was patiently watching up above in the sky was when Beerus went on to comment, Weiss. Why yes, Weiss responds, as this barrier was very much well needed because as of course you guys can see with Gohan and Goku battling very intensely up in the sky, the amount of sheer force that was beginning to rain down all throughout the landscape below was beginning to become a very big danger to everyone that was currently there. But even thus, nevertheless, a very telling battle between the two so far, because as soon as we transition on outwards in seeing the trees be blown away off Beerus's planet, in seeing the water be blown away off Beerus's planet, yeah. neither Gohan or Goku once Them again going seems at it, to be at it. up against the other, because still, even now, they appear to be fighting very evenly. Even if this means this comes at the cost of Beerus's planet completely being destroyed, which is very rare to see happen, especially if Beerus is never one to have anyone actually go as far as to wreck his planet like this to begin with. But even then, despite with Gohan and Goku no, having to break away and landing back down and having to then take a look at the entire ravaged look, landscape look, look. from above, it's Beer can be mad all he wants, nigga, but he ain't gonna deal with a Broly, uh, a beast, <laughs> Gohan, Ultra Instinct Goku, and uh, Ultra Ego, Vegeta, all four of them version Beerus at once. Cook. It's almost incredible to see the level of damage that Gohan and Goku had done onto Beerus's planet thus far while mind you having to fight very casually as Goku then went on to respond All right Gohan, let's keep this going with Gohan responding right as Beerus then went on to chime in Roads to those guys, look what they've done to my planet as it was only right then and there now during that moment where yeah, Dragon Ball planet, Super nigga. Manga chapter number 102 then comes to a close now you can make no mistake about the fact that now number one what this manga chapter basically goes on to set up now going into dragon ball super manga chapter number 103 is going as far as to establish the overall premise of what is about to transpire involving beast gohan and ultra instant goku and with neither of the two looking hesitant or tired or fearful of the other you can only imagine now going into next month's manga chapter as to how brutal this fight is going to be only because there needs to be a definitive winner unless they somehow either end up interrupting the fight or somehow coming to a conclusion where this fight ends up being a draw but what i really enjoyed about this manga chapter specifically was seeing the boys goten and trunks actually get some shine on over by having to battle and train with right. gohan but if anything else this was in fact the first time that we've ever seen goten and trunks alongside with gohan having to be on beerus's planet but on top of this this was also the first time that we had the chance to see vegeta broly goku gohan goten and trunks on beerus's planet together but one of the biggest takeaways for me was seeing the fact that the Goten slash Trunks fight with Gohan lasted a bit longer than it should, to which I want to go yeah. ahead now and get your thoughts and how you guys feel down in the comment section below in regards it wasn't to needed like specific that. questions, with that being question number one, on a rating scale of one to five, with one being absolute trash and with five being phenomenal. It was a good chapter, but like I said, yeah, the Goten and uh, Trunks thing, look, 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 uh, it was cool seeing them train with uh, Gohan, I like that, but the they ruined it with the fusing, fucking up the fusing again. Like, we try to see the fusing after when they're teenagers now. Like, we try to see that, but whatever. But, um, like I said, I feel like how they should end it, I feel. I feel like if Toriyama was a, if they want to, if they want to make it a, make it good, have Goku beat Gohan, right? If they want, you know, if they want to, you know, if they want to, uh, you know, keep us, keep us engaged and keep, keep, you know, sell the toys and, you know, say, you, you know, you know how they do. They, they're going to probably end it some goofy way or some, you know, how that is. You know how Dragon Ball is. Dragon Ball is a jerk, you know. They're going to end it some, I feel like they're going to end it some goofy way than having an actual winner. Even though I feel like Goku should win. Goku should win. Cause if Gohan wins, it, it, it don't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. Like this nigga barely trades, and he just surprises his dad and easy like that. No, you know. But whatever. Good chapter though. Ah, fuck. I can't wait till next month to see the fight. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we see some ultra ego. I want to see some ultra ego as well. And we trying to see what how they gonna set up. What's what's set? What's going? What's gonna happen? What's setting up? I wait. Can't wait to see. Anyway. You like my reaction? So you like to check out the last chapter of the Dragon Ball Super Manga? Check out another Unreal Gaming video right here, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.